Malibu, welcome back to the channel. Um, honestly, it feels so crazy saying that. I know it has been quite a while, almost a year and a half, I think, since I've been on YouTube. And before I get on with this video, I really just want to owe you guys a little bit of an explanation of why I was gone. As you may know, I'm almost 17 years old. It's honestly really crazy saying that. Literally almost a senior next year. I really just wanted to take a break from YouTube because I just really wanted to figure out who I was as a person. And it's kind of hard doing that when you're putting your whole life out there on YouTube. I just really wanted to take a break and kind of self-reflect. My biggest goal in life is just trying to become the best version of myself that I possibly can and in that period of time I felt like I really wasn't the person that I wanted to be I was just kind of going through a lot of stuff nothing super serious I really just wanted to take a time for myself and just being able to self-reflect because who I was as a person was kind of reflecting onto my YouTube videos and I honestly was not that happy with the content that I was making and I just really feel like you guys deserve the best content you guys mean everything to me and YouTube has really just shaped me to be the person that I am today I feel like it's definitely made me so much more confident and it's definitely gave me a lot of personality so I really just thank you guys for that and I'm so sorry I didn't post a video sooner kind of talking about like what was going on my sister was actually the one filming my videos and editing all my content and I thank her so much for that but she's actually a nurse now so she's super busy she is a travel nurse you know I'm super proud of her but it was really hard as a teenager filming content and also editing and and coming up with ideas and it was just really hard for me but I'm super excited to get back into it um sorry for the little bit of a rant but I just really wanted to come here and just be super real with you guys you may or may not recognize this room this was our old YouTube room and it's actually not my bedroom so I'm honestly really excited it's the biggest room in the house not even to flex. You know, I actually did switch up rooms. Maybe I'll give you guys a room tour if you guys are interested. But yeah, let's get into the video. I'm actually gonna be doing a updated which honestly, it's really crazy to say that. Back when I was on YouTube, I actually did not wear any makeup. I wasn't really allowed to. And over the like span of the year, I was able to really figure out more about myself, which I'll be sharing with you guys. I actually wear makeup now. And I'm not even saying that I'm a pro or anything, but I did kind of figure out what I liked and I kind of wanted to share with you guys like very natural, maybe like everyday high school routine. So I'll be showing you guys. Okay, so it's kind of crazy because before I literally owned zero makeup, all I would use is my sister and my mom. And I don't even have a lot of makeup now, but it's honestly everything that I need. So I'm kind of proud to show you guys my little makeup collection. Okay, the last time I filmed a makeup video was for my drag video and um actually didn't know anything. I'm gonna say that I've come a long way. This took me so long to get. Makeup is literally so expensive, partially because I would only shop at Sephora. Drugstore makeup is literally just as good. I'm just going in with this e.l.f. primer. I don't even know if this stuff is good. Don't even come at me. I want to put my hair up. So like I said, it's actually a junior and that is so crazy to me because I feel like we were just in quarantine. I honestly still feel like I'm in eighth grade, which is crazy because literally next year I'm going to be senior. I think I already said that, but I wanted to be real with you guys and talk about some of the things that I haven't scared about as a teenager. Literally like a year and a half, I'm going to be 18. You kind of think about the future quite a bit. One of the things that I have been thinking about um, as a teenager is college, which I never thought I would actually be thinking about that. It gets crazy to me um, knowing that like next year I'm gonna be applying to different colleges and also like what you want to do for the rest of your life like tell me that isn't scary so the next step that I'm going to be doing is I don't actually wear foundation I only wear concealer I honestly just want to cover up my acne I have three different concealers this is my favorite one the one from NARS I think it's just like the best quality and I love the way that it sets on my face like I was saying like I definitely do think about the future quite a bit I don't exactly I'm not exactly sure like what I want to do with my life but I definitely am considering being in the medical field I was thinking about being a nurse or something I am still actually doing jujitsu which honestly is kind of crazy because I've been doing it since I was like six I just can't picture myself anything else like I don't picture myself quitting anytime soon but that's a thing like I don't know whether if I should prioritize becoming a nurse or focusing like trying to do a career in jujitsu and I feel like I have a lot of 
pressure on me to kind of decide and it's been kind of hard because I like I said I really have no idea what I want to do just kind of like what it looks like I just kind of put it everywhere and where I have acne which is honestly kind of everywhere I just really want to get rid of the redness if you know what I mean so I'm just gonna blend that out with this brush this is like my favorite brush ever and I kind of put a little bit of setting spray I'm too lazy to like dampen it with water so I just spray some of the setting spray and I just blend that everywhere. If you guys remember my cat, he is still alive and doing really well. I'll show you guys him at the end of the video. Um, just for the OGs that know what I'm talking about. Okay guys, I'm back with Poho. Um, it's been actually a couple hours later and I definitely forgot to film that little clip. But here he is and he says hi. Say hi Poho. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Also, I like wearing makeup where it's like, you can kind of tell she's wearing makeup, but also like very natural. Like I don't like to do anything really crazy. So I'm also gonna go back in with the same concealer and you can see that I still have some acne that you can still see like here and like kind of up on my forehead. So what I like to do is actually do like spot concealer only on that spot. And I'm gonna let that sit there on my face and kind of let it dry. Um, It just gives like, better full coverage, which is kind of what I'm looking for. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is taking my lighter concealer. So I'm just gonna be taking this and putting it under my eye. I have like pretty dark eye circles, I feel like, and sometimes she's a vibe, but most of the time I just wanna look like I get a full night rest. I actually do, like literally yesterday, I went to bed at like nine o'clock, which is honestly really early, and I woke up at nine today. She bright, she's glowing. Okay. Next, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. Oh my god, don't even get me started on my eyebrows. But, okay, I have been struggling with my eyebrows for so long. You have no idea. Like, if you're my friends, I feel so bad for them because I would not stop talking about my eyebrows. And that is because a couple months ago, I got my eyebrows done at the same place I always do, except there is a new girl. If I can tell you anything, go to the same person you always go to because they won't mess you up. And I thought to be kind of kind and, you know, put some faith in this girl. And she seemed super sweet. I mean, she was really sweet. But when I looked at the mirror, half of my eyebrow was gone. And I was like, oh. That really traumatized me for a really long time. I never really had good eyebrows and I've always been really sparse. They're still really sparse, but I always like kind of like the shape of them but now my shape was like all messed up i was like really sad about it like i had no eyebrow and i didn't even realize how much she messed me up until i looked at old photos and my eyebrow was so thin and it took me a really long time to grow them back out i feel like my actual hair grows pretty fast but my eyebrow was not growing i was oiling her every day with jojoba oil or jojoba oil i don't know which one's the right pronunciation literally guys i I was not joking when I was talking about my eyebrows. So you see this beautiful before of my full eyebrows? And look on the right hand side. <laughs> Literally missing, like what the hell? She looks really dark, Um, but what I like to do is take the end, the bristle, and just kind of brush it up. And it makes it a lot lighter. But personally, I kind of like my eyebrows dark. This is like what she's looking like before, after. One thing that I did learn about makeup, instead of like smearing it, it's actually better to tap if you want like fuller coverage. Oh my God. Guys, I feel like it looks better in person. I feel like it looks scary on camera. Trust the process. Am I crazy or do I look crazy? Okay, okay. I don't know, like from this angle, I like look really pink. I'm not that pink, guys. Calm down. And my eyebrows look really dark. You look and look a little bit of a ghost. But that's okay because I'm gonna use a little bit of bronzer. I was so sad. I got this bronzer from Target and I literally just dropped it and it broke. And I'm so sad. I mean, as long as it works, it's fine. But honestly, I'm sad because it makes a mess every single time I open it. I only do it on my forehead and kind of like on my cheeks. Instead of like a contour, I just use bronzer because I don't own a contour. But low key, I feel like it does the same thing. I don't know what the difference is. Like I said, I feel like I've come a long way, but nothing near like an expert. Along with my eyebrow journey, I've been going through a hair journey too. My hair was really long. Like it was really long. I didn't realize how long it was. Please do not put heat on your hair every single day. I know I've 
I did blow dry my hair a little bit today, um, just for the YouTube video, but like, do, don't do it every day. Whoever says that your natural hair isn't beautiful, they're so wrong. I've only blow dried my hair twice in this span, of like a couple months, which is like big progress for me. I was definitely straightening my hair every day because I, that's like the only way I felt pretty. Sometimes I still feel that way, but don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I've just been really trying to grow out my hair healthy. It feels a lot healthier now. So after I'm done bronzing my face, I'm gonna put a little bit of blush. Hello guys. Christmas guys, I just got the Rare Beauty blush and I was so happy. Um, I know a lot of people talk about it and it's genuinely so good, but a little bit goes a long way. Don't put a lot because you'll regret it and you're gonna look like a clown. So I'm just gonna put a little bit higher up on my cheekbones. Even that might be a little too much, but it's fine. I feel like I'm already it red really easily, especially like when I laugh. I only need a little bit. Okay, she's looking, <laughs> she's, she's looking a little pink. She, she's definitely, she's vibrant. It looks so red on camera. I swear it doesn't look like that in person. Okay, as long as you guys know it looks good in person, then I think we should be fine. I like putting a little bit on my nose. Just... We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service. Sorry, my bestie Sam is calling me. Anyways, like I was saying, I kind of just like to look like the sun gave me a little peck on the cheeks and nose. So that's just kind of like the look I'm going for. Tell me I'm not the only one that likes to go in the sun and just look like they got sunburned. <gasps> My camera's about to die. Okay, I'm actually back. Um, sorry that my camera keeps dying. I'm actually very impatient when it comes to charging my battery. So if it dies, then it dies. And then I charge it for like one second and then I let it die again. It's a cycle, but it's okay because Honestly, we're back and we're thriving better than ever. <laughs> Actually, the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is my eyelashes. So I have this really crusty, musty, dusty eyelash curler that I actually got in like, girl, I don't even know what grade, but she's kind of cute though. So what I like to do is I like to take it from the very root of the eyelash and I like to curl it and pull down on it. One of these days, I'm gonna have no eyelashes, but it gives you the best result. Then you're just slide down a little bit more and just get the tips. And I feel like it gives you, I don't know if it, do you guys see the result? It's actually really pretty. And I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side. Like I've said before, I'm 16, and usually when you're around that age, you start to learn how to drive. I've actually been learning how to drive, not legally, of course. Um, I still need to get my permit. I need to get my permit, so I've actually been studying the like California driving book. And tell me why it's so <laughs> boring. Like I wish there was a better way to learn, but honestly, you just gotta do what you gotta do. I do drive with my mom just around the neighborhood, and one time, we got over and Tell me why that is not the scariest thing ever. You're just trying to drive peacefully. And this group of men come by and try to like jump you guys. Like it's, it was terrifying. And sometimes it's, it's like very scary being a woman. Let me kind of elaborate what I mean by like, um Girl, bye. I literally just watched that and that literally made no sense. I'm gonna try to re-explain that so you guys really understand the situation. Okay, so basically what what was happening was I was like in a, a narrow street and I was driving down with my mom, right? And there is a car parked in the middle of the road, so I cannot continue to go forward, right? And this car was parked right next to another car and they were having like a little conversation. There was like some men in the car. I wasn't exactly sure what was happening. And I thought they just wanted to have a little talky talk, right? But I was actually very wrong. Next thing that happened was they were staring into my soul, me and my mom's soul. And I was looking at my mom and I was like, is this normal? And I can see that she was getting a little bit nervous, maybe a little frightened. But with that being said, I was like, I'm not having it. I didn't want to die today. I started trying to back up, right? But since I'm a new driver, I really didn't know how to do that. So I was kind of praying. Then as I was backing up, this car starts driving forward to like go next to me, right? And he parks on the other side of the street. So I have room to drive now. And as soon as he moved, I started driving as fast as I could to get out of that situation. And I know that I was about to get jumped. I actually wasn't 100% sure that I was gonna get jumped, but you never know with those kind of situations. <laughs> The next thing that I'm going to be doing is actually highlight. Just kidding, I actually forgot to do powder, so I'm gonna be doing that before I do the highlight. You know, I like this one, but I also have the e.l.f. one, and to be honest, I kind of like the e.l.f. one more. Um, 
and I believe it's less expensive too. I think powder just like really sets in your makeup and makes it last a lot longer. Now we can do highlighter. Like I said, I think highlighter is like probably one of my favorite things about makeup. I think it just really adds. Like when you're in the sun and you just get a little bit of that glow. Like my bronzer, this is also shattered and completely broken. Like my heart. Just kidding, guys. But I'm gonna be taking this. I also got this from CVS. But I'm gonna be taking this brush. And the places that I like to put it personally, where my nose is, I also like to do it where my eyes are. So this is kind of like what it's looking like. Um, I'm gonna be showing you from this angle because I feel like that is better. It's kind of pretty, right? Oh wait guys, I forgot to put it in the most like important part and that's like your cheeks. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting this on my cheekbones. Honestly, I put on my cheekbones but I feel like you can never like see it. And yeah, that's kind of like all I do. Usually I'll do a little bit more but I'm not really feeling that extra today. So I'll be showing you guys the final look. All right guys, so this is kind of the final look. Um. There was better lighting here, but now it's like super cloudy, but you know, it's just like really simple. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I am super excited to be back. Please stay tuned because I'm planning on posting a lot more content and I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.